Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I wanna do a little bit more of a theoretical market update, market outlook. You know, we're just gonna look at the market today uh, in today's video. We're gonna look at what happened actually today. You're seeing this as what happened yesterday. I wanna talk about what happened with the whole weekend league, um, problems getting onto the game, and the extension of the weekend league, um, and, the ab and the ability for nobody to get in and actually qualify. Um, I want to talk about how that impacted the market today because we're going to look at a few things right now um, and it was really interesting as I saw this going on, kind of what happened with the market today. And I also want to kind of take a stab at looking at something that could happen in the next week or two if we don't get team of the season or any sort of news for team of the season in the next couple of days because we really don't know when team of the season is. I mean, we have a few guesses. I mean... Going off of years past, um, now is kind of the time when team of the season started, maybe a couple weeks from now. Um, but a lot of people are remembering last year and they're looking at last year and they're kind of forgetting that last year we had World Cup mode, which definitely moved team this season earlier because World Cup mode was taking place. The World Cup was starting. They had to get that going. Um, so that was one thing that I wanted to talk about here. We'll talk about that at the end. But first off, Everything around the foot champions, there's a lot of people that were talking about this on Twitter. Obviously, uh, people weren't able to qualify for foot champions. They weren't actually able to register. Now, obviously, it doesn't show up for me. I don't have enough points to qualify. Um, I haven't been playing the game a ton, I'll be honest. Um, but people weren't able to actually qualify. And this happened up until, I think, it was about 3 p.m. my time today. So I'm thinking that's somewhere around like 8 or 9 p.m. UK is when they actually extended the weekend league and people were allowed, they fixed whatever was going on basically, and people were able to redeem their weekend league um, and what was going on with that. So this is today's market graph. This is the index 100 on Footbin for the Xbox market. I'm sure, I'm sure PlayStation looks the exact same. And this is kind of what went on. We're gonna look, I guess the daily graph doesn't really help us here, um, but as you see, as we start the day Friday, this is usually when weekend league starts, like right in here. Like right in here. But Weekend League wasn't starting and people weren't able to play. So, yes, we saw a continued panic sell. And basically, this is just people that were selling their teams because they didn't even think they are going to be able to play Weekend League this weekend. Or they were just sitting there with their teams. They didn't have coins. They knew the market was going down. They wanted to play games, but they couldn't. So they just went out and sold players. And look at this dip. I mean, we, we go from Friday, uh, early morning UK, 8 a.m., from 62 points on the market down to uh, 1,900 hours UK, we're at 55 points. So we dropped a lot in that time period. That's a, that's a lot. That really is a lot. Now, a lot of that was high-rated cards and like meta, usable, weekend league tier cards. That's where I saw prices go down. That's really what makes me think that people started selling their teams today because they weren't able to play weekend league. That's really what I'm seeing here. People, <laughs> they were not able to get into foot champions and redeem and start playing. So they just freaked out and started selling their team. And then obviously right down in here is when that access was renewed and you were able to get back onto Weekend League and up right goes the market as people probably maybe sold their items and thought, hey, I gotta go back and buy them. And the market goes up. It doesn't obviously go up to where it was up here because we're still kind of in a decline, just the whole aura of the market right now, a lot of stuff is going down. But it did go up and I don't think there was really a way to invest in this or, or make coins off of it. But that did happen today. Now for content wise today, we did not get any SBCs on this Friday. We got the end of Team of the Knockout stage. Obviously they're promoing this E-Champions League that is going on right now. Um, they're obviously gonna promo that um, pro event that is going on right now. We did get a daily or a weekly objective though for a record breaker Shane Long. Score using Southampton players on squad battles. I mean, you should go get this card. It's probably gonna be really easy. You might have a Southampton player in the club even if you have to pay like two or three K for that Southampton player, you might as well go and do it. It's a cool card design. You get a record breaker in the club. I don't think the card has that insane stats, but it's something to do, you know? It's something to do um, on the game. Now, looking in the SBC section, I wanna scroll through here really fast. A lot of this stuff is come and gone. We still have a few of these, um, the Team of the Group stage and the Europa League SBCs still out here. We have the Christian Eriksen, the Delict is gone, I believe, but we still have the foot swap deals player. Um, so if you're going for your 14 foot, swap, foot swaps, you have that SBC and then the squad battle rewards this week. Those are the final two 
uh, foot swap players and you know you get your last the Rotenberg from getting silver three or above so that's foot swap again we talked about that last in the last couple videos looking at high rated gold cards and how they could go up this weekend as people get that last foot swap card go out and complete an icon SBC because they get the base icon pack which they would then either use that base icon or most people would get an unusable icon probably turn that into an SBC for a 100k pack and that would give them an incentive to start grinding on an SBC. Now, we would see a lot more people grinding on SBCs if there was no team of the season announcement this weekend or in the next coming days. If we have the next week, the entire next week of FIFA, if we don't have any announcement for team of the season, which I think people are really looking forward to, what are people going to do? Well, this is what they're going to do. They're going to go and see that high rated golds are pretty cheap right now. They're going to have their coins liquid because everybody's panic sold their teams. They have coins. High rated golds are decently cheap. They're a lot cheaper than they were. So if you're an average player and you're like, I'm going to go look at how, how high are these players? 25K. Wow. He was 38K. Wow. He's low right now. Wow. How expensive is the Icon SBC that I want to do? Let's say I want to do Hullet. Rude Hullet. 3.26 million coins. You can't see it. There it is. 3.26 million coins to do Hullet right now. That is a lot lower than it was. Uh, Ronaldinho, where's he at? Dino SBC is 2.1 mil. Vieira, 1.74. Eusebio, 2.1. A lot of this stuff is down a lot because of the high rated golds coming down. So people, when they have their coins, if they haven't done these SBCs already, what are they going to do? They're, they're going to have their base icon pack from foot swap they're going to have the high rated golds seeing them at a low price and they're going to have nothing to do if we don't have any team of the season hype or you know team of the season voting going on like the community voting if we don't have any of that you're going to see a lot of people that don't have much to do much of anything to do to be honest and they're going to go out and they're going to complete sbcs because that's what people do when they're bored i mean obviously this year you've seen it people do sbcs left right and center all the time whether they're bored or not, they're always doing icon SBCs and SBCs in the, in the store here just because it gives them something to do. Maybe get a card to try or, or something going on. EA's done a great job with content this year, but it's also sucked people in so far that they do at every SBC and they're left with no coins um, except for these players in the club, which they paid too much for. So that's an interesting thing that I see about this market. And in the next week, obviously, we've had so much panic selling going on if we take a look again at the index let's go to index icons we look at the index icons this is just so much lower than it was 72 points down to 64 but in terms of how where it was this isn't the best one to look at let's go index we'll just go index 100 again the market is just down so much over these past couple of weeks people have coins because they panic sold they're using their gold teams for weekend league. You know, they're using their gold Pogba's, gold Agueros. You know, all the cheap OP meta players that uh, they're not going to have anything to do when EA um, doesn't release team of the season like this week. Because everybody after this weekend league, I mean, if you haven't panic sold your team already, I'm sure a lot of people are going to do that. The market this weekend is going to go lower than it did last weekend because there's just going to be more and more selling to go on top of it each week as people continue to sell off their teams. It's just, just going to go lower and lower um, until team of the season. And until we get an announcement, we're kind of left in a limbo period and people aren't going to know what to do. That's why they're going to go do SBCs. And stuff like that and probably a lot of people are just going to set down the game so for a trader in this point in time if people are setting down the game it's not the best time to trade you're going to have to look to trade even with really rare cards like man of the matches like informs maybe some ucl lives or looking at sbc investments like the gold cards the high rated gold cards and maybe some informs because there's just not going to be a ton to do now this weekend we could get player of the year for the premier league and some young player of the year sbc that's going to bring some hype. That'll probably come out Sunday at 7 p.m. UK, or excuse me, 7 p.m. my time, midnight UK. In the past, that's when they've released those SBCs uh, because the Premier League Player of the Year, like the, the show, the award ceremony, is this week. So if you haven't sold any of those cards yet, I'll probably talk about this tomorrow on Sunday. If you haven't sold any of those cards yet, I would be careful. Um, just because we don't know what they're going to do with these SBCs. Yes, in years past, it's been very straightforward. 
But if you look at how inflated these pr these cards prices are right now, this Van Dyke card's 400,000 coins uh, when he's been 300k for most of the year. The UCL version is up in price as well. It's not as up as high as it used as it was. But still, a lot of these investments are overhyped. So if you got in early enough and you're making profit, profit, excuse me, I would consider getting out of these cards um, and possibly watching the best version of these cards. Let's say Van Dyke does not win Player of the Year. Let's say for some odd reason Aguero wins it. I bet there's people that have been selling off this 95 rated team of the season because they're worried that the uh, Player of the Year award winner card that he could get would overdo this Team of the Year card. That's a possibility. I don't know if they will overdo the team of the year card. Uh, I don't know if it's ever been done before, but it is a possibility and people are kind of panicked selling this card. I saw this card for under 1.1, um, I think yesterday, under 1.1. And you're gonna see it pop up even lower as people finish weekend league this weekend, heading into Sunday. So this is a card to watch. If you see this go under a million coins, you know that SBC that they're gonna bring out, it's not gonna be cheap. I mean, you're looking at other Van Dyke special cards. He's got the team of the year, which is usually like 1.2 mil. You've got this 93. There was 800,000 coins first day in packs. Now it's down to 600K. You've got this uh, road to the final card that is still live. There was 840K before that team of the knockout stage card came out. So this card had a lot of hype. So I'm thinking they would value a player of the year Van Dyke SBC somewhere around a million coins. If you see this card drop under a million or like right at a million coins, that's going to be crazy, especially if that SBC card is a 94 overall. That's going to be something to watch uh, for that one as well, because it's not going to be the best version of his card if they don't overdo the uh, team of the year. But basically, I just wanted to hop on a video quick today and talk to you guys about what you could see in the market uh, today and in this next week more of a theoretical video just kind of talking about hey today this is what happened with the market with the weekend league stuff and then also what kind of went on um what could go on without a team of the season announcement because we're just going to kind of be in a limbo stage and obviously we've seen it so far this year when people have panic sold and there's nothing to do people go and do sbcs because that's al almost the only thing that they can do that's the content inside the game right now and we don't have a promo so look for the icons to be kind of the forefront of that. And especially League SBC grinders. People, I mean, there's been a lot of people that have been doing this already, but even more people could be drawn to this if there's nothing to do to start stacking packs for Team of the Season. And people are going to be doing this anyway to stack packs. So if you're trading with silvers, if you like to trade with the silvers or the rare players that are needed um, for league SBCs, I mean, this is like heaven for you. I mean, this is easy pickings, easy money, because there's a lot more demand, and there's a lot of hype around some of these cards as well, uh, and they're pretty easy to trade with if you're in a low budget. Just go pick a popular league, set your, your bin price at 600 coins, look through a lot of these cards. This center forward here has got a bid for 450. His cheapest on the market is 600. His next cheapest is 950. So if I was in a real tight thing for coins, I could buy that one for 600 right here, Right there, there it is. Buy this for 600, maybe list it for 850, make like 100 coins profit, 150 coins profit after tax. That's the the cheap budget, the low budget grind that can definitely work um, when these league SBCs are very, very hyped up. So again, if you enjoy this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Purely speculative today, just kind of looking at a few things. Um, Nothing guaranteed to happen, of course. So we'll just kind of keep playing it by ear. A lot of more team of the season update, like research videos looking at last year. A lot of those will come out here over the next week because I don't think we're going to get an announcement for the next couple days, maybe even a week from now. We'll see. But if you enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.